Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Tiger Heli. And this was created by Toa Plon and licensed to Taito in 1985. And it is a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up. Um, this is one of the earliest ones, if not the very first, to allow you to have a bomb as your second weapon to uh, create a wide explosion and take out a bunch of enemies. Uh, this is a very, very tough game. Um, you can easily get surrounded by enemies that all shoot at you at once. Really, really difficult. But you fly this uh, chopper uh, over enemy terrain. And it's a very rare shoot 'em up in which there's almost no flying enemies. Almost all the enemies are, are on the ground or in the sea. Um, your most prevalent enemy is going to be a tank. And the tanks can turn their turrets around to uh, to fire at you. And for 1985, it's really a pretty pretty good uh, vertically scrolling shooter. Uh, this had an NES release, and and uh, you have a there's the bomb that you can use early on in the game if you're not very good and you get shot. The game will just let you drop the bomb instead of die, which is nice, and we'll go ahead and get started. I remember seeing this once in the arcade. But there will be various uh, other things that you can shoot that are non-threatening, like ground targets. Um, but uh, yeah, those tanks can, they will start to gang up on you uh, as you progress in the game. Now here, there is a, there are a couple bonus tricks you can do, and I'm going to do one of them. One of them is uh, there will be a uh, house with a roof that you can shoot enough times to get uh, 10,000 points. And we'll do that in just a second. But you want to make sure that the coast is clear because there will be uh, tanks trying to fire at you. And there I uh, released a bomb because uh, the uh, computer shot me early on. And uh, that saved my bacon. Dropping the bomb instead of getting uh, shot and killed. You are a one hit kill. You get shot, you are dead. But most enemies you cannot collide with and die. You have to be shot. But, um, yeah, there's more ground targets. There's cars, there's house, uh, houses, uh, rooftops. Oh, crap. Um, there will be diamonds that will appear on the ground and can extend. And when you shoot them, when they surface, um they will add to a counter in the bottom right and when you reach 10 you will get an extra life you can also get an extra life at uh, 20,000 and 80, 000, every 80,000th point after that there will occasionally be a plus sign like right there and when you shoot that you can either if the if the plus was red you will get a, a, a side-firing mini-helicopter that you can touch, and it'll be uh, attached to your side, and it will shoot towards the side. And if you uh, collect the, uh, or shoot the plus when it's white, you will get a forward-firing mini-helicopter. And you can have up to two at once, and they can get shot and uh, disabled, and you won't have them anymore. And uh, if you shoot the plus when it's green, whoops, if you shoot the plus when it's green, a little bee will float around and you can collect it for an extra bomb. And there's a mini heli. And that will shoot straight up. But just see how easy it is to get surrounded. Good God. Yeah, if you feel that you're about to get shot, drop the bomb. It can take out enemy shots and any enemies that are close by, and there's another diamond. 
the NES port is actually pretty decent. It's a little easier than than this game. When you reach the landing pad, you can still get shot if enemies are shooting at you. So just make sure to get out of the way and uh, you will automatically land. You will get 5,000 points for any bombs or uh, that you had left or any little helis that are attached to you. So you can get a total of 20,000 points if you have two bombs and two helis. You can't get more than two bombs. Or two helis for that matter. But I just, I just hate how easily you can get surrounded by enemies and they can all fire shots at you. Good gravy. It's ridiculous. But yeah, you can go through the uh, ground or see enemies. So don't forget that. Now, well, that was my game. I think there are there are either like three or four levels, and then they just totally repeat after that. And there will be a landing pad at the end of each. We will look at li at least at samples of the uh, remaining levels. If you time your shots right, you can make a little uh, black car appear near railroad tracks. And we'll look at that trick later on. I put on uh, invincibility to uh, get through the remainder of the levels. We'll just see parts of the rest of the second level. There will eventually be a tank. <coughs> a giant tank that requires a lot of shots to bring down. Well, I put invincibility on for my helicopter, but the little mini helicopters I did not have uh, invincibility on yet for. But again, uh, you can get a side-firing mini heli, or a forward-firing mini heli, or a bomb from that plus, depending on the color when you shot it. And you could get no more than two bombs remaining. And any additional bombs or additional mini helis that you collect that you already have two of, you'll get an extra 5,000 points. All the little ground targets, uh, you know, non-enemies, are, I think, 50 points. I, I kind of like this. It's, it's a bit stiff of a challenge. But the NES port is is just perfect challenge-wise, I think. It's it's a very good port, I think. It's not, not perfect, but... Yeah, if you time your shots near any uh, railroad, um, you have to have X amount of shots, or a, a multiple of, like, 16 when you near the uh, railroad tracks. Then a little black car will appear, and you get 10,000 points for shooting it. And there's a <laughs> side-shooting mini heli that I lost immediately. But I wanted to show you at least samples of the remainder of the levels before they uh, repeat. But yeah, the uh, NES port of Tiger Heli is quite a bit easier. I saw this at a nickel arcade back in the uh, mid to later uh, 70s, or uh, 70s, 80s, and that uh, that arcade is gone by now. And they're gonna land on the uh, landing pad. I still didn't have any bombs or little helis left, so I don't get a bonus. We will look at uh, footage of the NES version a little bit later on. Yeah, this was uh, created by Toaplan, and they were famous for a number of uh, shooters. Maybe not famous famous, but that's what they were known for, was for a lot of uh, shooters. And you know, for 1985, this is actually really pretty good. Just brutally difficult. And a little bit later, you get this kind of terrain. By this point, I think I put on a invincibility for an invincibility cheat for the uh, side helis. And now it, you can have uh, you could have them all if you collected the right ones. You could have them all shooting straight up, or you could have one shooting straight up and one shooting sideways, or you could have both of them shooting sideways. 
just depends on uh, which one you picked up from the uh, power-up, or the uh, cross sign. And then I took out uh, the two giant uh, tanks. The uh, giant tanks are in the uh, NES port. There's a trick on the NES port. When you get a game over screen, you hold down B and A, and you get a continue. But we'll look at the uh, NES port in a little bit. Yeah, brutally difficult game, but... Oh, that, for 1985, jeez, they, uh... They were pretty, uh, revolutionary. I mean, this, this game was... But yeah, any, uh, any railroad that you near, if you have, like, a multiple of 16, or just 16, then, uh, if you fire one more shot when you see that black car appear near the railroad tracks, if you fire just one more shot to hit it, for the 17th shot, you will get 10,000 points. And now I'm going to collect a bonus for having two uh, helis, plus two bombs. 5,000 for each, so a total of 20,000. Not too bad. But yeah, I saw this at a uh, nickel arcade called Wonderland, and we still have a lot of those uh, nickel arcades. The Wonderland is a franchise in the uh, Portland metro area of, of Oregon. Yeah, I'm just I'm just skipping forward to uh, the later parts of the remaining levels, and then we'll uh, we'll stop once we see that they repeat. I I I like this game. It's it's just so frickin' hard. There's so many enemy shots. And they can shoot from all sides. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, football today, if that's your thing. I uh, got into a weird challenge with my brother and my uh, nephew. Whoever's team had the worst record at the end of the season had to eat a balut egg. And uh, I am not going to have to do it, because uh, I tied record-wise with my uh, nephew's team, which was Detroit, and I have Buffalo, uh, but Buffalo owns the tiebreaker, because they uh, won in a head-to-head -head matchup a couple weeks ago, so he has to eat one, and we'll probably, uh, we'll probably do that uh, like New Year's Day or something, because I have the day off. Uh, time for time for some off-season plans for your teams that didn't make the uh, postseason. And there's the uh, giant tanks again. Just have to pelt them with enough shots. Yeah, if you already have two bombs and two little helis, then. Uh, uh, you'll just get a 5,000 point bonus from uh, shooting the crosses. And now we've got some rare flying enemies. There were some extra points. No matter where you are on the screen, the game will force you to uh, touch down on the landing pad. Shortly after this, then we just start the levels over again. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, let's look at the, uh, shot trick in just a moment here. This is the start of the game. Um, again, to start off, if you shoot, like, 16 times, and then when the little car will appear near the railroad tracks at the beginning, you shoot... You shoot that with the 17th shot, and you will get 10,000 points. See, I'm timing my shots. I want 16 there. 
Dropping a bomb doesn't count as a shot. And there's the car. Yeah, 10,000 points for shooting that car with the 17th or 34th shot. You know, multiples of 16 plus 1, whatever. And there's that drum tr or the roof trick again for that, that house. Shoot enough times you get 10,000. Shoot every other time after that and you get like 10 points more. And now we'll look at the NES Tiger Heli port. And it's pretty good. We'll just look at a little bit of it. It plays very similarly. Yeah, I had this for the NES. Very good port. The, uh, it's a little easier because the uh, enemy tanks aren't as quick with their turrets. But I think both both the uh, uh, car and uh, top of the roof tricks are in this game, in this port. And there's the giant, uh, there's the little mini helis and the giant uh, tanks. But that was a uh, tiger heli by uh, Toaplan and Taito in 1985. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, not only that, but I wish you all a very happy New Year upcoming. Well, this is Crazy Climb Radio saying thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great 2019 coming up. Take it easy, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.